Hello, you beautiful people. It is Tooth, tooth Decay. So, I think you know that we went to Sandals in St. Lucia fairly recently. And we've been to Sandals Barbados previously. We are planning a tour to Sandals Grenada soon. And if you've ever had a look, the Sandals website isn't the most intuitive. It can be difficult to find what you're looking for on there. And one of the questions that comes up time and time again is around the stay at one, play at many policy. So what I've done is put together this handy checker so you can see exactly which resorts you can and can't go to. And hang around to the end if you're going to Jamaica because Jamaica, obviously with the most resorts, is a little bit different to the other islands. So you'll see that we've got the rows going down are your home resorts. And then going across in the columns, you've got your resorts that you can go and visit. Now, I've had to split it up like this because of the Jamaica situation. And I, like I said, I'll explain that at the end. And I've also made this chart available as a free PDF download. So the link will be below to that as well. But the easiest ones to get out of the way straight off the bat are the ones where there's only one resort on the island. So that's St. Vincent, Curacao, Grenada, and Antigua. There's only one resort on each island. So you don't have a, a stay at one play of many policy there. The next one is Barbados. And to be honest with you, if nobody told you that there was a Sandals Barbados and a Sandals Royal Barbados, you wouldn't know the difference. You wouldn't know that you'd wandered from one resort into the other. It's just like walking down any other alleyway on the resort and then you're suddenly in Royal Barbados. So you have got access to both resorts, all the pools, all the restaurants, all the bars. But like I said, it's not like going off to a different resort for a day. In St. Lucia then, you've got three resorts, Regency Latoc, Halcyon Beach and the Grand St. Lucian. There are frequent shuttles running between the resorts and you can go to all three as you see fit. The one thing we did find is that staying at Regency La Toc, because we had a butler there, we obviously didn't enjoy the butler amenities at Halcyon Beach and Grand St. Lucian. So it's just something to bear in mind if you are wanting to spend a lot of time at other resorts, then maybe you might not want to be a butler level room. Otherwise, you're paying for a service that you're going to spend a fair bit of time not using. Then we move on to Sandals Bahamas. Now, I spent a while looking for the info I won this and I couldn't really find much and then I had a look at this map and now I understand why it's not <laughs> now I understand why it's not included on the stay at one play at many policy um they're actually about 140 miles apart and on completely different islands so if you go to Emerald Bay you're at Emerald Bay and if you go to Royal Bahamian you're at Royal Bahamian that's it all right so let's get on and talk about Jamaica. So Jamaica has seven resorts. And the one that throws a fly into the ointment here is Sandals Royal Plantation because it's entirely butler level. And because of that, people who are staying at the other resorts aren't allowed to go to Royal Plantation. But people who are staying at Royal Plantation can visit every resort. So I'll read you off the website what it actually says and I'll put a link to this down below as well. With the seven resorts on Jamaica, the website says your dining options expand to 72 restaurants. And of course, if you're a diver, you can enjoy six additional underwater playgrounds. You've got complimentary round trip transfers included between resorts and it says within the same city. And then it's got a little asterisk and it says only sandals royal plantation guests enjoy exchange privileges with all other six resorts in Jamaica. All other guests enjoy exchange privileges with every resort except Sandals Royal Plantation. And then it goes on to say, availability is limited as allowance is based on individual resort discretion in accordance with, but not exclusive to, occupancy. Guests wishing to participate in the stay at one and play at all should inquire with resort teams at their arrival destination for detail. So I guess my advice would be if you're traveling to Sandals in Jamaica, either reach out to the resort and ask them directly or speak with your travel agent and see if they can help you out simply because of that bit on the website that says that the round trip transfers are included between resorts within the same city. I think that bit's the important bit. All right, folks, I hope that's been helpful. Don't forget, you can download this chart if you want to. There's a link down below. And for now, latest potatoes, off your pot.